happens. Sometimes it happens. I don't know why somebody touched accidentally, but the problem is that the video is sent to video, no? but I, 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 I outlaw both. Okay. Uh -huh. And yeah, you, when you have the habit, you don't touch the bottom. You want to touch something to investigate. No, no. Stop it. Three, three. Okay, okay. Don't worry too much. Relax. Focus in the mathematical part. It's the important and complicated part. Um, I say, I explain that the aim behavior is when you, the supposition that X is a huge number. Therefore, the dominant is the monomial increasing faster, que obviously is this. So you take the higher degree, so say you estimate that the aim behavior is negative four X to the fifth power. Why? The reason is clear, because when the X increasing or decreasing, this increasing or decreasing faster than this and than this. So you take the higher. This is the aim behavior. And what is important to know that? Well, it's important because my graph, specifically in this example, look like, like that. I don't know exactly what happened in the middle, but in the end behavior is something like that. OK, how do you know that? Because there are four possibilities. For example, degree. Even. The degree, even is degree two, degree four, exactly. And coefficiency. Positive. It's a one possibility. We have another possibility. Que is degree. Even again, why not? Pero coefficient negative. Uh huh. Degree up. And coefficient is positive. And degree. Or more coefficients in negative. What mean that? More clear. Suppose one, one example like that. Three x to the four power. Wow. Coefficients is positive. Get three. Degree even gets four. Uh huh. So my graph when I finish look like like that. What mean that? Mean that right up and left up. Why? Because when the X approaches infinity positive, Y approaches to infinity positive. And when the X approaches to infinity, negative infinity, sorry, Y approaches to minus plus infinity. So both and both scenarios go up. Positive and positive, like that. Bam. E for a moment, for a moment, I don't care too much that part. We study everything in detail, but this is the first thing you should do to analyze the graph of the polynomial. Aim behavior. Suppose another category, suppose this, minus eight x to the sixth power. One well, is similar, except it's completely down, going down like that. This is a right up down, right down, and left down by the same reason, or because it's negative, and this negative completely flip it, the behavior. Uh -huh. However, when you have degree odd, for example, phi x to the seventh power, in this case, degree is odd. Coefficient is positive, nice. So then our problem is to look like, look like, like that. It's right up and left down. Mm -hmm. And the last situation is negative four 
x to the fifth power, exactly our example we are doing before, okay, is something like that. So that is right down, left up. Do you understand very what it is or not? Or complicated? No, I understand. Aha, uh -huh. no question. Oh, oh, yes. Please, please. No. Okay, cool. Okay, one example. Can you help me? Suppose this example too. In the example two, you have the function, okay, the name is f of x. Polynomial function is minus a x to the fifth power plus six x to the fourth power plus two x plus ten. We plus ten. I have a question. The question number one, what is the degree of this polynomial? Help me, guy. Activate the microphone. What is the degree, please? Five. 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 Super. Five. Degree of five. Uh -huh. One more thing. I need to investigate. I want to investigate the uh, behavior expression. And behavior expression. Okay, you take the part of the polynomial that contain a higher exponent case, negative eight, x to the fifth power. Yes or no? Uh -huh. yes. Then, 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 um, the graph, when they finish everything, look like, like that. Boom, 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 boom. And so now it's in that direction is this, and that direction is that. So it says right, down, and left up or rise either way. Everyone understand very well this is example two. Have I show me? Yeah, Gustavo Garcia is a yes. I want to complicate a little bit because I am a complicated guy, you know. Uh, example three is. Uh -huh, I need help. Suppose the function now is called a G. And this is one over four X parentheses two X minus three. This is a typical example. That is the reason okay, I'm doing here for you. Because you see in Alex. Cubic, 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 cubic. And x plus four is square. Somebody have the microphone open, guys. Uh, let me see. Thank you. Okay. 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 This is tricky. This is tricky. What is the degree of this polynomial? <laughs> Help me. Of course, it's confusing. Uh, three. Sydney say three. I totally disagree. It's not three. Would it be what one, about? two? No. One, no. Three, no. Six. Well, you are close. You are close. Seven. Six. Six, because you have, no, no, seven. No, it's six. You have three plus two and five. Plus one here and six. Aha, aha. Okay. Okay. The problem is the confusing part is okay. Now we we the, you, I don't know the expression is given in the problem is expressed in factory four. So somebody no me factorization the polynomial and separate in different factors. But when you expand that, when you foil, okay, of course it's too long process. We get the end behavior expression 
Let me try to understand the aim behavioral expression. Remember, aim behavioral expression is when the x is infinity. Infinity means a huge number, million, trillion. Okay? Now, this three is totally negligible. And this four is totally negligible because this is a big number, and this is a big number, and this is a big number. So the aim behavioral expression is 114x. 2x cubic, I delete mentally in my mind these three and these four, and this is x square. And when you put everything together, everything together is a one quarter x times two to the third power x is eight x cubic x square. And eight divided by four is two x to the sixth power x is the summation one plus three get four plus two. This is my aim behavior expression. Two x to the sixth power. So I, I, I put intention on this example because you see in Alex, you say, well, I don't I don't understand. Well, one is stupid thing, well, stupid, no. It, it's, it's, it's correct, but it's too long. It's expand for this, but it's too long. Too long, too long, too long. You spend, uh, one day doing this. It's too long. However, you delete mentally the, 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 the numbers without variable. Of course, not the multiplier. The multiplier, no. The addition or subtraction, and you get the end behavior expression. Uh -huh. Does it how look like this uh, function? is right down, right, left, uh, right, 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 up and left is up, no? Something like that. Because the degree is even. S6 is even. And the coefficient is positive. Okay, two. So this is the end behavior expression. So right, right up, left up. Make sense, guy, or no? So when I finish, this is the the checking, double checking no, of the, my work. When I finish, because I need to explain a lot of things to finish one graph decent. decent. Now we expect one graph like that. And the aim behavior is like that. The rest, I don't care too much now. Guy, do you follow me? I lost, you're lost. All right, come on, come on, come on. Opinion, 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 yeah. opinion, opinion. You need to explain again something? It's good. Can you explain it again? Put a one bar, please. Okay. All right, who say that? Who's that? Jaime, Jaime. Hey, introduce by yourself. Who, what is your name? Janice. Janice. And Janice, uh, uh, what is your question? I was asking okay. if you can repeat what you were teaching just now. Say again. Can you repeat what you were using this night? But what part? Okay, okay. It's important. You know, the class old person. You say what line? The first line, the second line. So you, I, the, the question, I don't understand anything. Is, you know, no good question. You did try to guide me. And what part you need? Can I explain again? Reinforcing, explain. Uh, all right, let me try. Let me try. Do you see my web board, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. You understand that part? Can you repeat the question? Yeah, of course. I can repeat everything, but you show me exactly what part I repeat. The part you just circled. The part of the what? The part you just circled. Circle? Yes. You say, you say that part? Yes. Ah, it's easy. It's easy. So you need to memorize. Let me erase it. That part. When you get in your hand the aim behavior expression, guess this. Guess this. You see, degree is exponent, S6. Degree is even. And coefficient is positive. So you need to memorize okay, when the situation happens, our graph looks like that. 
Okay, there are four possibilities I explained before. Do you remember or no? Are you boring? Kiana? No, I see Kiana, I say no. Okay, 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 guys. Okay. We have four. Uh, listen to me. Do you see my face or no? But let me try to come back. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Come back. You see now my face? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. We have four. Four kinds of behavior. Okay, depending of two conditions, degree and coefficient. No, no, this thing is not good. Coefficient and degree. When the coefficient is positive, I suppose that we have two possibilities. The graph looks like, like that or like that. Right? Coefficient is positive. However, when there's even degree, it's like that, like antenna, loop. And when the, the degree is odd, is odd number, it's this or it's this. Degree odd, positive coefficient, negative coefficient. Degree even, positive coefficients, negative ones. Now it's clear? Now it's clear? Yes. Chadria, no? Chadria, Guadalupe, do you understand? Do you follow me? Okay. Luis? Luis Sanchez? Good. Michael? Michael Diaz? Okay, good. Uh, do so you see me or so no? A little bit? Okay, let me try to connect it again with the uh, whiteboard. Do you see my whiteboard now? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, does I want to continue? I suppose you understand a little bit, not too much. Remember, we have review packet. In the review packet, we cover everything again, over and again, over and again. Now, it's important now identification Y in a set and X in a set. Not only in the polynomial, any function that we study here in this subject, frequently we are doing Y in a set, X in a set. So my question is what is the formula, Professor? For finding y in a set, this is zero. So you like the function is zero. Uh -huh. This is the formula for finding the y in a set, and this is the formula for finding x in a set as f of x equals zero. So it's easy when you want to find the y in a set, you plug it in, so you replace x for zero. X for zero. In function notation, you symbolize like that, x equals zero. And when you want to find the x in a set, it's more complicated. You declare it or you try to enforce it, y is zero. Also in function notation, I say for x equals zero. This is easy or easier because it's numerical, just a number. You plug it in and that's it. This is more complicated because it's this equation. This is the equation, mm -mm -mm. sometimes hard. I try to explain different technique for solving the equation, and you solve this equation. Solve it. Easy. Let's try an example. Example number number one of that part. Okay, that part is identification. So identify, identify x in a set. And why is it? Okay. Okay, let's do it. Suppose the function f of x is equal x cubed plus x squared minus 9x minus 9. Okay, this is given. Okay, however, I have a question. What is the degree <coughs> of this polynomial, please? Who help me? Three. Three. What is the coefficient? What is the leading coefficient? Three. 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 
leading coefficient a is the coefficient c coefficient c coefficient c guy but in the in the monomial que have higher degree coefficient c is one cool coefficient c is one another coefficient i don't care minus nine minus nine no the leading coefficient is one okay and what about the aim behavioral pressure in this polynomial what is the aim behavior? Remember, you take, in this case, non-factorization is super easy. It's just taking the monomial can have higher degree, okay, it's x cubic, end the story, right? Mm -hmm. And what is our potential graph shape? Well, well, it's, it's odd degree, k3. Okay, and coefficient is positive because it's positive one. Does our graph look like that? Okay, this idea is clear. This is a, this is only to recall quickly the part that we see before. Now the most important in this section is find the inner set. Let's find the y in a sec. It's always easy. You have all of the function is zero. And when you have a function of zero, it's zero cubic plus zero square minus nine times zero minus nine. The answer is minus nine. Therefore, the point, like the ordered pair, is zero comma minus nine. And this point belongs to the polynomial, and this is their y set. Cool. Now let's try to find x in a set. Do you follow me? Yes. Uh -huh. Now, why in a set? Why in a set, guy? I, I admit that. It's the complicated part. Okay, we practice, not today, alone this chapter. How you find the y in a set? It's a zero. This is called the zero because it's the point in which the polynomial crosses or touch, depending, the uh, x axis. But okay, let me try to do my best. No, I don't know. I copy the polynomial, so the formula is f of x equals zero. Specifically, in our problem is x cubed plus x squared minus 9x minus 9 equals zero. And you dedicate all your time solving this equation. By the way, this equation have three solutions because in polynomial always happen that the degree and the amount of solution of the equation is the same. So you have a polynomial degree three, when you put in force equal to zero, we have three solutions. This is fundamental uh, fact in algebra. However, to say we need to apply our best to factorization. Now, this is the challenge, guys, right? factorization. Factorization technique. Okay, let's do it. I realize that we have one, two, three, and four there. This is obvious get factorization by grouping. Factorization by grouping. So what is the GCF and the two first? And what is the GCF and the two second? Well, the GCF, GCF, G. C, F, create a common factor. It's obvious it's X squared, X plus one. And the GCF in the, in the blue bar is minus nine, X plus one. Let me, let me see, say, make a mistake with the sign or no. I factor out negative nine. When they open the new parenthesis, they say, oh, of course, inside is positive. Now I feel it, no, why not? Because I saw that x plus one again is a common factor. And we open the new, new parenthesis. Inside the new parenthesis, we have x squared minus nine. This is the classic of factorization by grouping. This is grouping. Okay, I fit in, no? Why not? Because I saw here, I saw here, I saw here, here 
a difference of a square. I need to recall the formula. A square minus B square is equal A plus B times A minus B. In our specific example, A is like X. And B is like a nine. Actually, A is, a is X. So you break it down. So you fight to complete this. Like a two parentheses, exactly like the formula say, but A is X in our specific sample, and B is three, and plus and minus. Doesn't matter. Equal to zero. Okay, we finished. Factor completed. Factor completed. You break it down in different factors. How many factors? Three factors. And you apply the famous uh, zero factor property. In which so you have three factor equal to zero is because the first is zero, the second is zero, and the third is also zero. Therefore, the first solution is negative one, the second solution is negative three, and the third solution is positive three. Express it like a order pair exactly we are doing in the x in a set. That point is the point negative one comma zero. That point is the point negative three comma zero. And the point is positive three comma zero. Uh -huh. Suppose I am doing the graph of this by hand. Actually, no by hand, never. But let me try by hand first to have roughly idea how it look like that. Suppose a rule. Why accent? X axis. Okay, so far. The point that we discovered was. And the y axis, y is 0, negative 9. I suppose that is this point. This point is 0, negative 9. We discovered also negative 1, comma 0. Here, this point is negative 1, comma 0. This point, no, it's it. I make a mistake. Es negativo. Negativo. Negativo, coma cero. Negativo, tres. Negativo, dos. Negativo, tres. Coma cero. And positive three. In the same distance, pero en la dirección. Ok, this was my x-axis. That was my y-axis. And also, we investigué at the beginning, beginning, beginning. Okay, the aim behavior of this is, look at that. It's x cube e x cube. In one moment I say, no, 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 I forgot to say. Okay, it's look like, like that. Yes or no? So the degree is odd, and the coefficient positive, look like that. But the connection, this idea, and this point, I suppose can my graph of the polynomial look like like that? It's coming from the positive bar like that. Okay, passing through this point, of course, the polynomial graphic is continuous. Explain that what need to be continuous and smooth. Continue is that you can do the graph without listing the pencil from the paper. So you are doing this as discontinue. But no, never is discontinue and the polynomial is continuous. And it's more if okay, we have no point like that. It's a point you have sharper. No, 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 it's a smooth. It's a smooth. But see, we continue a smooth. 
Ahí su voz, que dice es smooth, it's a little bit round, no peak. Entonces, now passing through zero, passing through zero again. Ooh, and we finish a roughly sketch of the, uh, this polynomial. Do you follow me, guy? Oh, no. Cool. But no, for me, it's not enough. It's not enough because I don't know if you are familiar or no. Okay, yes, yes. I don't know if you are familiar or no with Desmos. Do you see before in high school? Or another teacher is playing in college, Desmos? Desmos, Guadalupe, eh, is eh, the fantastic graphic calculator que es free and we have online wow. beautiful. Ajá, uh -huh, Desmos, Desmos es fantastic. Entonces, I, I recommend que never, never, never you are doing the graph like that. No. No like that. No. No. You are doing like I want to explain now. Look. You open Desmos. I open my Desmos. I open my Desmos. Where is my Desmos? Oh, over there. Over there. Let me share the screen with the Desmos. Desmos. Share switching to Desmos. Okay, cool. Do you see Desmos? Do you see? Okay, yes. Okay, this is example one of that part. Okay, it's x cubed plus x squared minus 9x minus 9. I put in the decimals, I put a point, I graph it that. Boom! Look at that. Do you see that the graph is very similar? I don't meet that part because I don't see that part. Uh -huh. so in the test, nobody are doing the graph on paper. No. You are doing in the smalls and you click here. No, no here. Here, sorry. And you export the graphic as an image. Okay, there are different styles. You investigate this. Uh -huh. And you upload download your your picture and you attach to the test okay you send me the solution of the algebraic word the algebra 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 and the graph you are doing in desmos you convert it to the format png the typical there are diff diff different format well, this is the most important. And you attach, so you send the test in PDF and attach the picture in this one. Where do you access this one? In, in, in Jose. Jose, Jose, Jose. Let me show you, Jose. Jose, you need to learn this very well. This is another thing. We study different software throughout the course, guys. Uh, let me try to do, 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 do. Do you see this one? This is my account. Jose? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Aha. Uh -huh. This is Desmo. This is my account. You see my name here, right? Yes, yes. Aha. Uh -huh. I recommend Jose that okay, when you open that, you create an account because it allow you, it's easy, it's not free. Uh, only you, you uh, provide one email address and create a password and in the story. Uh, what is the advantage that okay, you, you save? to work. So you are doing one test, you save. And you can find and you open the browser, Google Chrome or Mozilla or, or whatever, uh -huh, and you put Desmos graphic calculator. Can you see that? And practice. And practice, practice. It's a very intuitive idea. It's for the kindergarten students, not for the college students. So it's very intuitive and super, super useful. Super useful. Super. At least in this subject. Okay? Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's continue. I move on to the whiteboard to explain a new thing. Okay. 
Okay. Let me know. So you see now my Y bar. Do you see or no? All right, yes, Guadalupe well, says yes. Okay, so what is the challenge, guys? The challenge is the factorization. The factorization, uh, somebody is, some, sometimes is complicated, or sometimes it's impossible. So I want to explain one fantastic way to do the factorization without factorization. Okay, another, another method. I don't know if you see before in your life or no. Okay, using long division or synthetic division. Long division. And synthetic division. Okay, I want to explain one example using both ways. However, 100% of the time, we are working with the synthetic division. This, that one, because it's easy and fast. Suppose I need to divide 2x squared plus 3x minus 14 divided by x minus 2. You see one professor, but what is this? This is polynomial. No, it's not polynomial. It's another tip, kind of function that we study in the, in, the, in the class, but not now. But that's division too. So we divide, and then the dividend, we have one polynomial, degree two. And the bottom, we have one polynomial, pero degree one, linear. Uh -huh. So now I need to find the answer here. Let's do it. So you copy, you copy, you copy, like using the long division format. Guess this. You copy the dividend inside the box. You copy the divisor outside the box. This is a dividend. This is divisor. Uh -huh. And we start. You investigate, you guessing. What is the expression? Okay, you multiply. You, what is the expression here? Okay, when you multiply by this, give me exactly this. It's obvious. It's obvious, guess, two. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2x. Because 2x times x is so you get 2x squared. That's exactly what we have here. And you multiply this and this, and this and this. So it's 2x squared, and this and this is minus 4x. You follow me? Now, division is a procedure that frequently you multiply and subtract, you multiply and subtract, you multiply and subtract. This is division. This is division by definition. Now subtracting, you change the sign. It's cancel out. This is the intention. And this is seven. I finish. No. Why not? Because the degree of the hypothetical remainder the degree one and the degree of the divisor degree is also one that indicates us that we don't finish you finish when the degree of the hypothetical remainder is less than one the degree of the divisor the degree of the divisor is one so when you get degree zero it is when you finish no now so you continue. How you continue? Easy. You bring down minus 14. Bring down minus 14. Get the next. Uh -huh. Now we continue. You put plus 7 because 7 times x is 7x. And 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. By subtracting, you change the sign and remain the receiver. No, all we have in case 0. But in this case, I create the example to make zero because I want to explain the idea. What is the advantage when it's zero remainder? 
So the answer of this division was 2x plus 7. Okay, you want to do double checking. An easy way, you, you multiply this and this together, and you suppose that you get the dividend. So you multiply, for example, x minus 2, multiply by 2x plus 7, you FOIL, it's 2x squared, uh, 7x is minus 4x, and this is minus 14. And you combine later, and you get exactly the dividend is, uh, polynomial. But you don't need to do this. This is just to check it so you want to verify that okay, this is correct. However, I want to explain now how you are doing this idea in an easy way and scientific division. Scientific division is easier. And you say, what's the reason you use in some time long division, professor? Well, a long division is general. You can divide any polynomial divided by another polynomial. Scientific division, no, it's particular. You divide one polynomial divided by another polynomial, but it's mandatory to get degree of divisor would be one, so like this example, get linear. See, the degree is two. No, we cannot apply scientific division. But in the majority of the scenario that we are fine here, we are working here, degree is one. But the, the, the format is very, very similar. You put a, the same symbol of the long division, but you copy the important information. Okay, the important information is just the coefficients without variable, no variable anymore. You copy 2, 3, and negative 14. So I omit in my mind x squared, x. Uh, and now you copy here 2. Why 2, Professor? See, it's negative 2. Well, this is a factor. I agree, but this is not a factor. This is a 0. So when you get x minus 2 equals 0, it's so obvious x is 2. So it's important. It's tricky. Some Somebody to get this part, I uh -huh, guess, and the scientific division is opposite sign of this. I make it sense because you change the sign one time, and the long division you need to change the sign, subtracting, change the sign, subtracting, change the sign, subtracting, change the sign. No, you change the sign only one time, and you get the same result. What is the procedure for the scientific division? Okay, look, you bring down to without do anything, just bring down this. Boom. And now multiplication this and this. 2 times 2 is 4. You copy here. And you combine this. 3 plus 4 is 7. Now continue. You multiply 7 times 2. 14. And negative 14 plus 14 is 0. Wow. And when you see 0 here, that means it's important, important. It's important get the factor one factor, this factor, okay, is x0, x1, the factor is, the factor is 2x plus 7, and 7 no x because it's degree 0. And to say now, important, 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 if the remainder, if the remainder is 0, you can affirm that the factor 2x plus 7 belong to the original polynomial is given. And well, another factor is x minus 2, no? because this is a 2 and opposite sign. And you are doing the factorization without factorization. This is fantastic, science fiction, science fiction way. Uh -huh. OK, let's do one, one more example. One more example. OK, do you, do you follow me? Do you understand this? Yes or no? Sure? Good. Let's do an application. Application. Application of this. Application. What is the fantastic application? Well, the fantastic application is, look, this example, example number, what number is this? This is number one. 
Is it number two, no? Number two. Yes, shame. Okay, cool. Cool. Now this is the most important moment in our class. We have only 15 minutes. Example two. So both can have for backs. S equal x cubic minus six x squared plus eleven x minus six. Uh -huh. And just I want to investigate the x in the No, oh, just the professor's playing. Okay, for finding the x in a set, you need to do f of x equals zero. Okay, so we want to say x cubic minus six x squared plus 11x minus six. So we need to solve in this equation, equal to zero. And solving this equation is really hard. However, using synthetic division, we can do that. Let me explain how, why. I put a coefficient, this is a format for the synthetic division, one and minus six is 11, minus six, no? Yeah. Uh -huh. One easy way to remember that is this is x to the zero, this is x to the one, this is x to the second, and this is x to the cubic. And this is a little like similar to this. But this is not mandatory to write. You write is okay. At the beginning, it's, it's, it's useful to write this. You know, after now. Do so now, the challenge is, wow, does it, what factor are you using to start? No idea. No idea. Because I need to guess it. Don't worry too much. Because in the next lecture, I want to explain the technique to investigate this. Now, for a moment, I would like you only take a look the organization to factorization without factorization using scientific division. Okay, look. Suppose get two. Professor, where come from these two? I have no idea. I explain next class. Okay, but the thing I want to explain is you bring down one multiplication one times two is two. It's a negative four, right? Negative four times two is negative eight. 11 minus a is 3, and 3 times, times 2 is 6 positive, and minus c plus c is 0. Oh, it was I discover, I discover that the factor, let me copy here, factor and 0. The factor x minus 2, remember the factor and the scientific division have opposite sign, because the number that you put here is the 0, okay, is x equal to. Make sense of this or not? So now the factor is x minus 2, but the factor is 0, therefore x is 2. And this 2 is the factor gave copy in the center division. But the investigation was, okay, zero, the remainder is 0, is because the factor x minus 1 belongs to this polynomial. Okay? But we continue. There are many possibilities to continue. One possibility is, one possibility is, continue another scientific division, suppose three. Why confront three, professor? No, no, because I investigate another thing that you don't know. It is three. Bring down one. One times three is three. It's negative one. Negative one times three is negative three. It's zero remainder again. Therefore, the factor x minus three belong to the polynomial, okay, the zero is x equal three. Awesome. And we need to do another, no, because this is degree one, this is x to the zero, x to the one, and the fact that automatically is x minus one, is x plus one. Conclusion, conclusion, the factorization of this original polynomial was, so this is equivalent, 100% algebraically, x minus two, time x minus three, then uh, time x minus one. And by the way, the zeros of this problem is two, three, and one. Uh-huh, I can express it like a points. 
for repairs is 2 comma 0 because y is 0, no? 3 comma 0 and 1 comma 0. Bang! End the story. And this is super easy to do the graph of this. Do you understand very well this idea or no? Okay, 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 okay. Yes, le let me know, let me know. Please let me know. This is the, I understand any, 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 any doubt because it's the first time you see that, I suppose, no? You see before this or no? First time? Answer me. I appreciate it. Jonathan, answer me. It's the first time? Yes, Jonathan typing. First time, wow. Yeah, first time. First time. Yes, uh-huh, and Kiana? It's the first time you see that? No, no, no. You see, where, in the high school? In a, in a previous uh, Ah, I understand, I understand, I understand. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, one more example. One more example, one more, one more, one more. I have better, let me see. I want to, 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 to explain in this example, in this example, another possibility is look, 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 look. Suppose, so you allow me a raise that bar. Uh -huh. You see, for example, I, I am doing only one synthetic division because you get that, but this is easy because it's x to the zero, x to the one, x to the second, well, it's quadratic function. This is x squared minus 4x plus 3. Yeah, so wow, this is a trinomial factorization. Open two parentheses, uh, put x, get a variable, and the factor may be 3 and 1, because 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 plus 1 is 4, and both negative. Bang! Yeah, I did the last part, that part, and that part without. So the, the perfect way is start doing start doing the uh, scientific division. Anytime that you are doing scientific division, you reduce the degree of the polynomial one. See, so degree three, you reduce degree two, and degree two sometimes is easy, sometimes no. But so the majority of, of yes, is quadratic, is easy to factorization. Okay. Oh, but anyway, 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 or oh, either way. Or you continue factorization, factorization. When there are another technique I want to explain. One more example, one more example, one more. The last one. I promise it's the last one for today, no? Example three of the synthetic division. Example three. Suppose this function 2x cubic minus 3x squared. Minus 11x plus 6. Okay, here I want to investigate uh, the factorization. So you just press this in factor 4 because previously you need to find uh, x in a set. Okay, okay, it's doing. But using the traditional factorization, it's impossible doing that. No. However, doing by synthetic division, I can do that. You copy 2, minus 3, minus 11, and positive 6. Yeah, I try to investigate. And one way I want to explain in the first part of the next lecture, Wednesday, what is the number you put here? 3. Back on front 3, professor. No idea so far. Bring down 2. Just bring down. Don't do anything. Multiplication, 6. 3. Multiplication, 9. Minus 2. Multiplication, minus six. Wow, zero remainder. Now, the factor associated with this was x minus three. Remember, opposite sign to this. Is it positive three? And minus three, because the zero is three. Cool. Well, one possibility is try to find the recession. No, 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 no. I continue centered division. Suppose minus two. Welcome from minus two, professor. You see next time. Bring down two. Bring down negative four. This is negative one. Negative one tiny I do is positive two. Zero. Remainder again. Uh -huh. See, you don't get zero. No problem. That's mean that it's not factors. Okay, see, when you perform 
the scientific division and the remainder is no zero, es tú, 20, whatever. Entonces, that's me, que negative 2 is no zero. Entonces, you continue another, no? So the, I want to explain in the next lecture the potential number that you can investigate. Okay, so the factor is the factor is x plus two. Remember, opposite sign of this is minus, so it's plus, and the zero is negative. And the last one, it's obvious that is x to the zero, x to the one is two x vertical, two x minus one. Okay, by the way, two x minus one equals zero. The zero is one half positive. No? You move one to the other side positive divided by two, one half. It's x equal one half. Okay, does the factorization is x minus three? Guys, it doesn't matter the order because it's a multiplication. No? X plus two and two x minus one. This is the factor for. This is the standard for of the polynomial. And this is no standard. This is the factor for. Factory four. Uh huh. And by the way, the zeros is three, negative two, and one half. And the point que is the x in a set is the, is the real number que cross it or touch, depending, no? The x axis is uh, three comma zero minus two comma zero and one half comma zero. Cool. We have time to do another, right? Yeah. Yeah, one easy. Guy, any question? Do you understand very well the algorithm, the mechanism? Aha, uh -huh. good. Okay, one more easy, no big deal. No, no. Example, example four, no? Yeah. Look at that. Suppose que the function is x to the fourth power minus four x to the second power. Wow. Okay, the degree of four, degree of this polynomial is four. Four. Uh huh. Uh, QB power is missing, linear power is one is missing, and zero power is missing. The in behavior expression is x to the four. Oh, it is s even degree. So our graph looks like, like that. And positive coefficients. This is the in behavior, and this is the you know the picture that represents the in behavior. Okay, now we focus in the and the and the and the and the y and z okay the function of value in zero guys this formula is universal for any function is zero to the four power minus four times zero square it's up the zero the zero the zero zero comma zero zero comma zero so in zero comma zero passing the graph and the x in the set always is more complicated more complicated set for x equals zero though the y is zero now so says x to the fourth power minus four x to the second power. Okay, in this case, I can see it is possible by factorization, not necessarily scientific division, because the great common factor is x squared. And we have x squared minus four. Oh, oh, just so we have a different of a square here. And the factorization is two parentheses, x, x, two, two, no? Because square root four is two, no? Plus or minus. Oh, oh. And this is that's it. No necessary was the scientific division in this example. Oh, I like that. Now this is a factor. So the factor, the collection of the factors are R R R R X square. Uh -huh, okay, the, but wait, wait, wait. This is a factor. This is a factor. So let me copy in the same format we are doing always and zeros. Factor is X squared. And zero is x equals zero. But in this case, multiplicity is a new concept I want to explain now. Multiplicity is two. Multiplicity, why? Is two. Because the square means that actually is like a zero and zero, twice. 
Ajá. Zero have no sign. But it's zero twice. However, another factor is x plus 2. Que the, the zero is negative 2. Of course, multiplicity 1. Only repeated. Multiplicity means repeated. Repetition. And x minus 2 is x equal positive 2 multiplicity 1. Okay, let me try to do quickly because the time is almost over. The graph by hand of this new polynomial. This polynomial, let me try to do roughly sketch. Of course, in the test, you are doing elegant graphy using decimals. Okay, it doesn't. A lot of things you should do today. You should do today sign in and Alex free using the financial aid uh, code. And secondly, open demo and create accounts. Well, this is this is less important, but it's important. Also, the zero R and zero and two positive one, two, and negative two. One, two. Negative two comma zero. Zero comma zero. And uh, here is positive two comma zero. Yeah, I know that the aim behavior look like, like that. So the aim behavior look like, like that. I suppose okay, it is. Remember that it's smooth. Wow. We have two zero. And zero comma zero is coincidence. It's X in a set and Y in a set both. Look, it's Y in a set, but it's also twice. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. There's one important thing I, I don't, I need to say. I need to say. When the multiplicity of the zero is one, the graph crosses. Cross it what? The x axis. When the multiplicity is two or four, or so as even number, the graph touch it. Touch it. Touch it. So there are several possibilities to cross it. So one, one zero crosses like that, or crosses like that. And touch it is, this is zero, touch it like that, or touch it like that. Okay, because keep in mind, you, de you determine against zero. But you need to oh, oh, determine one more thing. Is the multiplicity? See the multiplicity is even number touching. See the multiplicity is odd number one, three, five, and those across. Cool. We are the best. We are the best guy in Miami Dade College. Fantastic lecture. Good, good guy. Remember, I am your friend. Okay, I help all the time. But you communicate with me any problem. We try to solve it. We try to find the best solution for you. You are my students. Okay? Uh huh. So the communication is important when you tell your online class, coño. Right? Uh huh. So now you're checking every week, maybe one time or two times, the, 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 the email, the school email. Okay? Okay. So today, Everyone sign in and Alex and create account in Desmos. Bye bye. Thank you, thank you. Soon thank I you send the video. Soon I send the video. Bye.